And now it's time for the three-lap sidecar TT. And away go the first two stars. Switzerland Scheidegger, led by Charlie Freeman. Now Doyle's BMW number three, and Les Wells Norton. Pip Harris gets away well. He was second last year. Scheidegger leads at Braddon, and Doyle's caught Freeman. Les Wells, number four, and fourth on the road. <laughs> Doyle's really motoring, and at the gooseneck, 26 miles out, he's caught Scheidegger. And now look at the two BMWs at the bungalow. Started the bungalows a bit dodgy, but my word, look at Nightingale. At Hillbury, with Scheidegger leading, Doyle knows he's only got to keep the Swiss in sight to win, because he's already made up the 10 second starting interval. At the end of lap one, they've both broken the lap record at over 87 miles an hour from a standing start. Pip Harris goes by in third place, but he's 40 seconds behind Doyle already. And Les Wells Norton's a very gallant form. Lap two at Braddon, and Scheidegger still first on the road, with Doyle right behind him, and Harris third. But at Solby, Doyle's leading on time and on the road. but the leading English rider is still Pip Harris in third place. Here he is at the bungalow, with Ray Campbell working overtime alongside him. Back at the gooseneck, Greenwood and Rosefa scrap for fifth place. Hard luck, chaps, but believe me, it's not quicker by rail. Governor's Bridge lap two, and Doyle was increasing his lead, but hot after him comes Schadiger. Pip Harris next, third on the road and on time. Charlie Freeman takes Governor's Bridge nicely, but Otto Collar seems to think the sidecar TT is still on the clips course. As Doyle thunders round Quarterbridge for the third and last time, we learn that on lap two he broke the record again, this time at nearly 88 miles an hour. Scheidegger's 20 seconds behind Max now, but he certainly isn't giving up. lap, Doyle leads by one and a half minutes from Scheidegger, who's nearly 40 seconds ahead of Harris. So this year it looks as though Pip will have to be content with third place. Short sure enough, as the rest of the field race over the mountain for the last time, Doyle comes home to crown his record lap with victory at a record race average of 87.6 miles an hour. It's the seventh successive sidecar TT win for BMW, and with Scheidegger second and Harris third, the Munich firm have really had a field day, just as Honda did in the 125 race. <laughs>